Alrighty, Roo, and Cuckoo could shoot to you, and all my nobody is not watching out there. I felt like playing a little more. Uh, not quite ready to quit quite yet, but I might after this one. I don't know. I wish I could say that after the winter break came, we we came back to school and started hanging out again. It's like, no, it seems like this is sort of like a it, it started the beginning of the end, sort of doom sort of thing. That we worked things out and everything went back to normal. But that didn't happen. We'd see each other in the halls and even say hi, but it was like there was this distance between us. Day and I hadn't really hung out alone since the holidays. Everywhere she went, Ingrid always... <sighs> Ingrid seemed to always be there, looming over us. Seeing her in the halls, passing by at lunch, not being able to talk to her about what happened. Man, if I were you, like, if you're not hanging out with anybody, and you, you know, so you have all this free time, because you, you know, you do your schoolwork, and you didn't have a hard time doing schoolwork, and, like, yeah. You should do your best to try to solve the mystery of her death on your own. And then try to work with Day when it gets to the point where you can't. Because you're like, I want to help. And Ingrid's going to be like, well, you're not wanted. It's like, well, I've got information and I want to help. So, do you want this mystery solved? Or do you just want to keep Day on the hook? And just uh, address that. Be like, If your purpose is to to hold her hostage with this promise well now that's out in the open and that sort of invalidates the promise if the person that gave it decides that they don't want to be that cause fuck you that's really messed up fuck out of here but if you get the help then maybe they'll cease to be an issue or that promise at the very least won't be a problem anymore and they will you know they will be free uh, from that obligation that they signed up for and watching her talking to Ingrid Ingrid only Ingrid look at that angry face it was like knives in my chest again it was like they never saw Ingrid do anything good or be nice or anything doesn't mean that didn't happen obviously just it seemed like they had a toxic relationship Ingrid would just bail whenever and just be kind of a bitch and could just you know whoop I'm still here I'm just invisible like or I'm not you don't know now I'm gonna know and I can hold it against you but I don't have to let you know that I know and shit like that and it's just like but then hang, seeing you guys get together and not wanting to be a part of that actively choosing not to because that you know makes it harder to control your person creates that issue while well, she could have very well been there the entire time you know and it's like that's that that just seems inherently unhealthy. It's like solve the issue and move on. If it's actual, it's like it's like we never know why it's your fault. Not yet, anyway. And it's like it probably isn't. You've probably just been convinced that it is by Ingrid. It felt like I was the one haunting her. Ouch. Poetic, but ouch. I wonder if Day felt guilty or something about spending so much time with me when Ingrid wasn't around. You didn't know. You don't know that Ingrid. What was Ingrid doing? Was she in the bathroom? She's, uh, you know, cooking dinner. Like, motherfucker could be in your room right now. Like, could literally be, like, listening to... She could be sitting there right next to... Dr. Theodore, you know, you wouldn't know because 
she can. Not to mention the whole thing that happened between us at Robert's place. I mean, I almost kissed her. Yeah, and she got real fucking pissed. And put barbecue sauce on the wall, which Robert was like, Oh no, that's going to be such a hassle. It's like, it's impossible to clean up. Obviously, it was not impossible. But still, it's like, Day doesn't give a fuck about that, that, like, that whole thing. Like, oh, I'm going to sit here and use what Robert did, go farther as a prank, and then get all pissed off. And then graffiti has, like, house. Like, scare all of you and all this. Like, not really as a prank, just as a revenge lashing out toxicity bullshit after that it felt like being alone with her would be too awkward to bear no pun intended Ted Theodore uh, I couldn't face the idea that I'd read into our our friendship wrong I don't think you did I think Ingrid has a strong hold over her and is fucking toxic. What if she never really wanted to talk to me again? I think Ingrid's really toxic and controlling and manipulative and narcissistic and all those things. And has every reason to be like, this person cannot leave because I will be alone. Even though that's not what's in that person's best interest and they don't care about anybody and they're just going to do that cuz that's benef that's what benefits them it doesn't help that hanging out with you guys somehow caused their gpa to take such a a sharp nose dive but it's like real talk like unless that project was super fucking important like i said it very well might be and you're not taking it seriously ended up like hampering that it's like, it's like what, all your grades gonna take that hit like you guys hang out like once a month once every two weeks maybe once a week like the, it's just it just doesn't make sense that that those individual days are so impactful upon your ability to follow through on your school work and stuff I felt just like when I lived in the city again it's like like seriously does she even have like a extracurricular or is it just her extracurricular or more school like when I had a falling out with my friend I tried to kiss my old crush I got ditched um I'm gonna go with I had a falling out with my friend that makes a lot of sense I kind of had a falling out with my friend there we were at this concert with my dad, and we ran into some other kids from school. They made fun of us and called us babies. I could tell it really bothered her. For a while, we still talked here and there, but eventually we stopped, and then it was like she hated me. Why? Because you were at a concert? Ran into... Because you had a, your dad at a concert? With you? Like that... So I started hating her. Okay, that's not great. Um... Because you may have been projecting and then you started fulfilling, but I'm just like, Dad's never around. Maybe he was around more, now he's not, because the move, but it wouldn't be weird for you to go to a concert at your current age. Well, maybe not this current age. I don't know what your current age is here uh, in the future where you're being a seemingly unreliable narrator uh potentially anyway and you know even then like depending on the concerts like concerts are more fun with another person uh, as a person who's gone to a concert just solo it's it's a better experience concerts are a social thing and you can meet people and whatever but just 
it's meant to be with other people. Like, it's meant to be a shared experience. Like, you can do it solo. Like, going to the movies and stuff. Like, or you can do all, you know. But some things are just better with with a friend. At least one, if not a group. You know? That's just how certain, we're, we're, we're creatures like that. We're communal creatures. We're social creatures. Even when we're introspective and not social. Like, certain things just make more sense to just to do together. You just find somebody else who's like that. Or you just don't do them. But that doesn't mean that that's not how it's normally done or should possibly be done. It, if, you know, ideally. I don't even know why. Oh, do you know why, Mr. Barrington? No, this time there was no plan, no goal, or to, to win them back. Great! Even less ability to affect the outcome. You know? Not that it was actually useful most of the time anyway. It seemed like every plan I'd made just ended up blowing up in my face, so yeah, pretty much. Is that I made a rule. Wasn't it you that said, oh yeah, no, rules make things more fun? Or maybe that was, uh, maybe that was day, but I'm still like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, it said you made a roll. Rules are f so much fun. I was never going to make a plan again. Oh yeah, that's a... <sighs> you're, you're just not a very great character to play as. You're just sort of... You're just sort of dumb. Like, I like you in some ways. Because you've I think you've got a good heart. But... I, th I, th I think you're just kind of dumb. And just not very good at humaning, which I can uh, relate to, but I, at least I'm not dumb. <laughs> I may be other things, a lot of other things that some th that are worse than dumb, like a more intense version of that, some might say, but. You know, like, I just feel like you're just sort of dumb and boring. And, you know, again, I just blamed it on being, you know, hormonal and teenager and awkward and anxiety. But you just, that's dumber than all the plans is, is, I'm never going to make a plan again. That's that's just stupid. Like, <laughs> yep, that's right. I was living on the edge. No, no, you weren't. You were, were almost certainly living under a rock or inside of a shell, like a little hermit crab. It's not like you were just doing Robert shit, just like you know, woo, improv, just like. I'm just freestyling. You probably just didn't do anything. Well, yeah, but if I didn't make a plan or goal, then there was no way it could go wrong. Not true. Uh, what's the saying? It's, uh, if you failed to plan, then plan to fail. Or something along those lines. I think that's it. You know? Like, and I'm not, like, all about plans and stuff. I'm not the greatest person for that sort of thing, but... It just basically means, you know, like... The same thing as, like, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. It's like, no, that's not how statistics work. You don't miss them because you didn't take them. You have to at least attempt to... M so that you can miss. You don't make them, and that might be the actual thing. It's like, you will not make 100% of the, the, the shots you don't take. I think that might actually be the 
the saying, and if it's not, it should be. Um, but it doesn't mean you miss. But depending on the shot, sometimes you don't want to make it, and sometimes you don't want to miss it. Sometimes not taking a shot is your best option. Not always, but... Anyway, plans are good. Like, I, again, I, I understand what it's like to be like, I don't want to make plans or goals because, you know, well, if I don't make a plan or a goal, then there's no way it could go wrong. It's like, yeah, it's just your, ab your absence of, of making any sort of choice will still likely result in something negative because you still would prefer an outcome even if that's not a goal or plan you're not going to be happy with whatever happens or doesn't happen automatically just because it wasn't not it didn't go against the plan because you didn't have one you see what my logic was flawed flawed that's what he's saying flawed so, yep, that was the plan. Flawed logic. Even though you just literally said you were like, I will never have a plan again. That was the plan, was to have no plan. It's like, you're not smart enough or good enough at improvisation or adaptation, flexibility, fluidity, you know, innovation, etc. To do that. Then one morning, about a month before the last day of school. Wow. Okay, so we were like had a rough time getting through that first semester or half a year or whatever. Are there four semesters? Or two? I think there's two. Maybe there's four. I don't know. But then we're just like, eh, you know, it's about a month before our last day of school. So basically we just breezed by everything after winter break, which is like half the year. I found the note from my dad on the fridge. I'm hoping it's a new one and not one that was already there that I somehow missed. All this time. He's gonna be like, So, I wanna throw you a graduation party. Let's get all your friends. I called them up. Stella, you okay? Oh, hey, Dave. Like... You're by my locker for some reason. Cool. It's like, yeah, my locker's right here. <laughs> um, I'm okay. Are you, though? Are you? Like, at least you're changing clothes, you know? Um, but I kind of like your pants, and I kind of don't. Like, I'm not sure how I feel about them. They've got, like, a sort of... I don't know, carnival vibe to them? Oh, okay. You just look terminally uncool. That's because I am terminally uncool. Like, it's, it's almost a gift. Not yourself. Yeah, well, I just got some, uh... My dad left me this, um, no? I, I haven't been avoiding you, you know. Oh, okay, well, I guess... You asked me to... Okay, well, yeah. I guess we'll get to that note whenever. <sighs> I... Never said you were. Yes, you have. Where is Ingrid? I don't know, I'm gonna go with I never said you were, because I didn't. You're kind of projecting and, and stating that, but it seems like you actually are. I don't feel like conflict and, and directly, I, you know. I feel like I don't even wanna, I'm, I'm sure Ingrid will show up. I have never said you were. Right. Well, I just wanted to make sure you know that, because... It's just been hard with everything going on, and, and I mean, I'm, I do, what, I saw that, I saw that it cut away, and there was, like, no bottom part of her body, it was just, like, 
There was just a bar that showed... Okay, I saw that. You ain't slick. And then suddenly we were interrupted by Robert and Taylor. Of course. Of course. If it's not Ingrid, it's gonna be those guys. It was so awkward. Oh, hey! Like, you guys just happen to be like, Oh, uh, they're over there. We should try to form the group again real quick. Robert, are you under hard times, or did you just decide to go, like, grunge, bro? So, uh, I guess this is it, then. Huh. Oh, wow, Taylor, you're the one to say it. Interesting. You're the one to just be like, yeah, it's like a month before school ends, and, you know, whatever. I guess we'll probably never see each other again. Because who knows what everybody's doing, and... Because we haven't been talking. What? You know, graduation is next week. Ah, I thought it was a month before friggin' school ended. They're like, it's next week! Liars! Liars! Right. Goodbye, little high. I know, right? We should all do something. Like what? Well... We didn't even actually do the party, did we? So that means that Taylor never got that gig. I was gonna throw one last huge end of the year bash. It might actually be a party this time, like I said. Just have just a chillax session. Oh. That's still happening? I mean, it was supposed to happen for winter break. So unless he talked about another one to you privately, personally, because you guys have been hanging out or at least talking more, that's... What? Yeah, I thought so. Next weekend. They're still playing, right? Okay, so no. I guess they just pushed it back or maybe they did. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. Mr. Non-Committal. It's been a while since we agreed to that. Okay, so I... Yeah, it is... Yeah, no. Uh, a week is probably not the best heads up on... Oh, remember that gig that I was going to pay you for? Yeah, um, cancel. Okay, uh, now I want, want you to do it at the end... Like, friggin' three, six months later, whatever. Oh, okay. Well, what about you, Day? You still in? See, I like how he's sort of tried to learn from the last thing. He's not, like, trying to force anybody. He's like... he, But he does need to ask. Yeah, um, I may have an appointment with the guidance counselor then. You don't even know when it is, but okay. I guess that's a way to duck out. On the weekend? Really? That's him calling her out. Yep, kind of last minute, so... Well, shit. Is that the first time anybody has cursed other than me? Like, like any character in this is actually just cursed? I think that's the first, I think that's the first time. I could be wrong. All right, then. Like, so he's not even, like... He's not pushing. He followed up to be like, Really? Oh, well, okay. But he's not, like, signing people up. He knows if he asks me, I'll show up. We kind of fell into this awkward silence again, and I felt like this was my perfect chance to tell them my news. Oh, I hope that note's good news. But is it... Is, is it going to be, like, the note is going to be, like... So we're selling the house because that that thing, you know, we've got an offer for it and we're moving out as soon as I graduate. Bye! But everyone was so down, I couldn't stand to bring the mood down any further. That sounds like what it is. Stella, are you going to go? Huh? To what? Thanks for being part of the conversation, Stella. Robert's party? 
Should I tell them the news? Um, I'm kind of interested what it is. Like, I kind of want to know. Like, like, but is it better to hold off? I feel like she would definitely not. And I already got cut off before. To, I, you know what? I don't think it's best. To, I, I don't want to like have to... At this point, I have yet to reload or go back. And I just, you know... Other than maybe like one by pressing L1. Just like go back a little bit. I just... I don't... Uh, I'm not going to do it. Oh, I... You know... What? No worries. He's like... It was, like, in all honesty, if it was... It's like... If both of these people are already out, I don't want you to feel like you're obligated and probably won't have that many people anyway, so it would just be awkward. It would just be you, me, and Jessica, and then she's just going to be, like, weird, and it might be another couple people, but whatever. Like, Brandon, Jessica, maybe. I don't know. I'll probably just go see doing with the guys at Zach's cottage anyway. He's like, because I do have other friends and I can go do that. Now, everybody, open your mouth just to not say anything. So I guess this is it then. Yeah, I guess. Thanks, Taylor, for bringing it up and making it. Yeah. Maybe I'll see you around? I mean, I would think that... I don't know what my news is, but I get the feeling it means I'm I'm gonna move, um, or I got accepted to a college elsewhere, which would still be moving. Um, but that, you know, you would still think that Robert and you know Taylor could still hang and see each other, but they probably haven't. Like, except for a little bit. But they'll still see each other around more. Yeah, maybe. Seriously, Taylor, where the fuck are you gonna go? Robert's most more likely to go somewhere. He's like, yeah, fuck all this. I'm not going to, like, college. I'm just gonna go, like, a year abroad. You know? It's like a gap year. Just go find myself in Italy and Spain. Rip the band-aid off. Stall. Break the news gently. The character would stall. I kind of want to get it over with. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. Hold on. 